around the United States, there are different accents to say the same word. Some say apricot, some say apricot, some say roof, some say roof. But sometimes there are different words to say the exact same thing, depending on which part of the U.S. you're from. Here's a great example. You know that big long sandwich filled with meat and cheese? There's a different way to say it all around the U.S. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take a tour. In California, it used to be called a submarine sandwich because of its shape. But now, it's just sub. Remember, in spoken English, we always shorten, shorten, shorten whenever we can. In the Northeast, you'll hear grinder or spucky, which is named after the American-Italian bread roll, spuccadella. And grinder because you really have to grind your teeth into the thick crust to get to the meat and cheese. Next, we have the po'boy from the South which is actually just applying the southern accent to the word poor, po, oh, since these sandwiches used to be made of leftover meats and cheese and sold at really low prices. Moving east, we have the blimpy around the New England states because it does look a lot like a blimp. And if you look long enough, you'll see a long bread roll. And the more you look at it, the more it does look like a sandwich. Mmm, blimpy. Around New York, you'll hear wedge, because you wedge or stuff the ingredients into a small space. A hero, because it takes a hero to be able to eat such a big sandwich. And a bomber, again, because of its shape. A little south is Hog Island, which is part of the state of Pennsylvania, where the sandwich became known as the hoagie, because the people of the island fell in love with this type of long sandwich and named it after themselves. This sandwich also goes by two other names in this region, the Torpedo, for obvious reasons, and the Zeppelin, which is a synonym for blimp, which we saw earlier. These words are so regional that if you use them in the wrong state, you may not be understood. But there's one word we all understand, and that's the word sub, because of the national restaurant chain Subway, which serves sub sandwiches all around the US. 